Hello. Our verse this week is from Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Listen to these brave words written by Paul. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. You know, on hearing these words, your first reaction might well be something along the lines of, yeah, right. <laughs> because it's so easy to feel powerless when it comes to our faith, especially in this day and age. In this day and age, we seem to be beset on all sides by isms. <laughs> I've tried to make a list of them. There's obviously the secularism. Then there's, there's scientism. Scientism is this sort of dogmatic faith people have in the power of science to solve everything and answer every question. Then there's materialism. And then there's individualism. And then there's inclusivism, that's a new one. And then there's religious pluralism. The list seems to grow longer every year. And in such a climate, how could we possibly begin to imagine anyone would be interested in the gospel at all? And yet Paul can write, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. You know, in Paul's day, there were lots of isms too. They came under different names. But there was still a, quite a climate that went against everything that Jesus stood for. And yet he writes, I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. The gospel is essentially the good news that in Jesus, we can come to know and experience the forgiving love of God and through his Holy Spirit in our lives, we can be empowered to, to be the people God wants us to be and to, to, with God's help, make this world a better place for everyone. The gospel is good news. The other thing to say about the gospel is it has a power of its own. It doesn't have to rely on our power or our powerlessness for that matter. It has the power of God at work in it. You know, in my previous job, I met a number of people who had grown up within the Muslim faith and yet had not, they found it, in, it, was, it was something that never gave them the peace they longed for. And so they had been drawn through reading of the, the Quran, the Muslim Quran, they had been drawn to the name of Jesus. And this had set them down a road that would eventually lead them to, to hearing the gospel and putting their trust in Jesus, putting their lives in his hands. That was the power of God at work in their lives. I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. Someone shared these words just a few days ago with me, and they really I found them really quite striking. He said, the gospel shines brightest against the backdrop of darkness. The gospel shines brightest against the backdrop of darkness. In other words, we may well be living in dark times, but that does not diminish the gospel's power. Rather, it allows it to shine even brighter. So, is there someone you know that you'd love to see experiencing the gospel's liberating power in their lives. Think about it. I can think of people. Let's pray for them right now. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the greatness of your transforming love that was demonstrated and proved for us through your death on the cross. Our prayer today is that you would reveal that love now or in the days to come. That you'd reveal it to those that we especially name now in silence before you. And now let's name the people that are on our hearts before God.
Lord Jesus, may they come to know the power of the gospel in their lives, the good news. We ask this in your name.